In ancient times, petroleum was considered a medium of supernatural power and was even used for witchcraft. Greetings everyone! In this video, we'll uncover the essence of petroleum, its multifaceted applications, and its transformation. From a mysterious substance to the lifeblood of industries, we'll delve into the theory surrounding its origin, its historical significance, and the innovations that have shaped its extraction and utilization. So, join us as we journey through time, from ancient civilizations to the modern petroleum era. Exploring the evolution of this black gold. If you find this video interesting, please support us by hitting the like button. Now, let's get started. Petroleum is essential to our daily lives and is used everywhere in automobiles, airplanes, ships, factories, fertilizers, and more. How is petroleum, such an essential part of our lives, produced? First, let's look at exactly what petroleum is. Petroleum is a flammable liquid, primarily composed of various hydrocarbons found underground. It is termed crude oil when mined and purified of gases, water, and other substances. Crude oil is superheated and cracked, using the difference in boiling points to yield petroleum products, including gasoline, jet fuel, kerosene, diesel fuel, heavy fuel oil, and lubricating oil. You may recall hearing stories about the origin of petroleum during your childhood. Although the theory that petroleum was formed from dead dinosaurs is no longer dominant today, there are still many unsettled theories about the origin of petroleum. There are two major theories regarding the origin of petroleum. The inorganic origin theory and the organic origin theory. The inorganic origin theory holds that the abundant metals and hydrocarbons in the Earth's interior were transformed from gaseous to liquid hydrocarbons under high temperature, high pressure conditions by the permeating action of water. According to this theory, the raw materials for petroleum were supplied from the center of the earth. But the evidence for the origin and quantity of these metallic carbides is unclear. And this is not the mainstream opinion. On the other hand, the organic origin theory states that about 500 million years ago, when the earth's surface was covered with water, fish and protozoa that lived in the water died and accumulated along with sediment due to large-scale crustal movements. Over a long period of time, they were transformed into oil under the influence of geothermal heat and pressure, without contact with air. It is believed that petroleum thus created, had a low specific gravity and thus rose through the fine voids in the rocks. The places where petroleum is found today, are sedimentary rocks that were once at the bottom of shallow oceans and lakes. Some petroleum components contain impurities from the breakdown of proteins in organic matter, such as nitrogen and sulfur, making the organic origin theory the most convincing today in this regard. Although petroleum is now called, black gold, it was not always treated as precious from the beginning. However, it has had a significant impact on the development of human civilization since ancient times and has existed alongside human history. In ancient times, petroleum, known as bitumen, was enveloped in mystery and attributed with supernatural powers, often used in witchcraft. Its transformative nature, shifting between different states and gases, added to its enigmatic reputation. Furthermore, the ancients considered petroleum to be a kind of liquid condensed from the blood and sulfur of dead whales. It was not until the modern era that petroleum began to be used in earnest. As the fervor of the California gold rush began to subside, attention shifted to a new kind of lucrative resource, petroleum, aptly dubbed, black gold. In the United States, the oil industry was started by George Bissell, known as the father of the oil industry, and Edwin Drake and Benjamin Silliman, known as pioneering oil drillers. George Bissell, originally a lawyer with a journalist background, one day learned that oil emits light when burned. At the time, expensive whale oil was commonly used as fuel in the United States. But he saw the potential of oil as a new fuel and purchased land in Titusville, Pennsylvania. However, financing proved difficult, and he convinced capitalist James Townsend to invest in the project. George Bissell enlisted Benjamin Silliman to validate his theories about oil's potential applications. Benjamin Silliman was one of the earliest professors in chemistry at Yale University and the first to distill and produce petroleum in the United States. Investors flocked in droves, and the two men formed the Seneca Oil Company. Bissell and Silliman recruited railroad worker Edwin Drake to join them in oil drilling operations, and in the spring of 1858, Edwin Drake began drilling for oil. Initially, oil was extracted by drilling holes in the surface, but Drake devised a method called mechanical drilling in which a drill was attached to an iron rod and rotated to drill oil deep into a support column. Since this method was new at the time, it was much ridiculed by the public. 
with many referring to it as Drake's folly, a term used to mock his unconventional drilling method. However, a year and a half later, in August 1859, Drake finally discovered oil and successfully drilled for it. American historians have recorded this day as the birth of the oil industry. In the United States, the Seneca Oil Company then began mass production of oil. Kerosene, made from crude oil, was the ideal fuel for lighting. And kerosene lamps became popular throughout the world. From the end of the 19th century into the early 20th century. In the early days of the oil industry, it was common to extract only kerosene from crude oil and discard the remainder, but in 1885, Gottlieb Daimler of Germany perfected the gasoline-powered internal combustion engine, leading to a surge in demand for gasoline, a byproduct of crude oil. Petroleum emerged as an indispensable substance in warfare, and the petroleum age was ushered in. Later, in 1927, the British Turkish Oil Company discovered a large oil field in the Iraqi area, and upon hearing the news, American and French oil companies also went to Iraq. Until the early 20th century, the oil industry market was led by the United Kingdom, the United States, and France. Seeking to monopolize the oil industry, these three countries entered into the Red Line Agreement in 1928. The agreement drew a red line across regions of the Middle East, including today's Turkey, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, and Iraq, aiming to create a British, American, and French monopoly over the development of oil resources within this line. Even though not all these regions were major oil producers, after the oil-producing countries of the Middle East regained national sovereignty over their oil resources, OPEC emerged, representing a new form of collective agreement among oil-producing countries, akin to the earlier Red Line Agreement. Later, through the 1960s, the development of products using petroleum was actively pursued, mainly by scientific companies in developed countries. And in the 1970s, process technology was developed and the substitution of existing materials and the development of petroleum applications expanded. Since that time, petroleum has begun to be used in all aspects of daily life, as well as in various household products related to food, clothing, and housing. Petrochemical products were used as raw materials for various industries and as intermediate products, symbolizing its fundamental role in industrial development. But why hasn't petroleum, which has been used all over the world, been depleted? In fact, Concerns about oil depletion have existed for 100 years, with the United States Bureau of Mines stating in 1914 that within 10 years the oil reserves of the United States will bottom out. The answer to this question is that oil is very abundant and that technological advances have made it possible. Technological advances have made it easier than ever before to find oil, to extract more crude oil, and to recycle crude oil that would otherwise have been discarded as useless. In addition, energy efficiency has improved today, and advancements in engine efficiency and fuel economy allow the same amount of oil to be used more effectively than in the past. Technological advances have also introduced non-traditional petroleum resources. Unconventional oil refers to oil resources made available through new technology, rather than oil field extraction, that is, extra heavy oil such as shale oil and oil sands, which are extracted using advanced technologies. It means that, at least for the present, there is no need to worry about oil depletion. In conclusion, we trust that this journey, through the intriguing realm of black gold, or petroleum, has shed light on its rich history, pivotal role, and diverse applications. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content. Take care and see you in the next video. Goodbye.